Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making shrimp fettuccine and a pesto cream sauce. Alright, I'm starting out in a large skillet. I added in three tablespoons of butter and I've set on medium heat. I'm melting down my butter. And I'm going to add in a half of one large onion that I diced up fine. And I'm going to allow this to saute in there for a few minutes until it starts to uh, soften up. Right now that my onion sauteed for a few minutes, you can see they're starting to turn a little brown. I'm going to add in some garlic. I'm going to add in about two cloves worth. Use fresh, use two cloves. I'm just going to give that a quick stir. And you don't want to let your garlic hang out in there by itself for long because it will brown and turn bitter. You just want to get the flavors going in it. Alright, now I'm going to add in two cups of heavy cream and I turn my heat down guys low and I'm also going to add in a little bit of salt and pepper not much salt because the pesto we're putting in has salt in it Probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I can have more in if I need it. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to turn that up to medium heat. And I'm stirring that around. Not to worry about that butter in there, guys, because that's going to add a really rich, delicious flavor to our sauce. That's why I use butter instead of olive oil or any vegetable oil or anything, because we want that rich flavor. Now I have a 8.1 ounce jar of pesto here. I'm going to put the whole half a jar in. I have half a jar left. And if you're curious what pesto is, pesto is basil, olive oil, pine nut, and maybe a little bit of seasoning like salt or something mixed in there. It's really delicious, guys. If you haven't tried it, don't be afraid to try it because pesto is amazing. All right. And that jar is kicked. I'm going to give that a stir. And that pesto, like said, that pesto has a little bit of salt in it, so we don't want to over-salt this. Like I said, you can always add a little extra salt in the end, but it's hard to get rid of it when you put too much in. Now I'm going to bring this up to a gentle simmer, and I'm going to allow this to simmer and thicken up a little bit while I cook my fettuccine. All right, now that my sauce is starting to simmer and thicken up, I turn it down on low because you don't want to burn your sauce. I'm going to add in some Parmesan cheese. I have about a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese here. And I'm going to stir that in. Whoops, I don't want to lose my spaghetti tool there. And I'm going to allow this to continue to simmer and thicken up. And I'll taste it for salt. That Parmesan has a lot of salt in it too. That's why we held off on the salt. So I'll allow this to keep, to keep simmering and thickening up. All right, my sauce is starting to thicken up nice, and I checked it and I gave it just a little bit more salt, about a half a teaspoon. Now I have a pound of frozen shrimp here I thawed under warm water. I'm going to get that in there, and I'm going to allow that to finish cooking in that cream sauce. I turn my sauce down on low, and this here should only take probably about five minutes for this shrimp to cook. So we'll let that go in there and let that start to pink up and get nice and cooked. All right, guys, this is ready. My shrimp is cooked through. Let's go ahead and fix up the plate and see what we got. I had a little parsley for some extra color. Let me get in here and give this a try. I'm going to start with a piece of shrimp. Shrimp's tender. Not rubbery. That sauce is... Mmm. Sauce is delicious. A little bit of this, uh, fettuccine. That's really delicious, guys, and it really wasn't hard at all. All right, there you have it. Shrimp fettuccine and a pesto cream sauce. Thanks for watching, and remember, love what you eat, and eat what you love.